G'day, mate. What's your name? My name's Mick Meredith. Mick Meredith. What do you do, Mick? Oh, description-wise, I'd have to be a uh, utility player of comedy and other skills. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, welcome back to another episode of Crowdwork Cast. My name's Andrew Barnett. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, my guest today is none other than the great Mick Meredith. Uh, I've known Mick for a bunch of years now. He was uh, he was already well established when I started comedy. He's always been a guy I uh, I looked up to both for his uh, comedy and his ability to just play in front of every crowd. Work it out, just and uh, just a generally nice guy. So uh, this was a really fun chat. I'm really grateful Mick uh, drove out to uh, to do this. So um, you're going to enjoy it. If you'd like to follow Mick, or you'd like to find out what he's up to. Uh, he is Mick O Meredith on all social media. Uh, he posts all about his gigs uh, on his Instagram. So give him a follow. He also has a fantastic podcast which he does with uh, former guest of this podcast, Sean Woodland. Uh, it's called Mad Dogs. Um, it's basically a history of loose units and uh, it is a fantastic format, two fantastic comedians, um, so uh, it's well worth a listen. Do check that out. Other than that, um, if you're enjoying the podcast, please do uh, like and subscribe wherever you uh, listen to this. Tell other people about it too. Spread the word. Uh, if you know someone who might like it, uh, share it with them. And uh, yeah, if you want to leave a review, that would really help too. Other than that, um, this is my chat with the great Mick Meredith. <laughs> Utility player of comedy and other skills. I think that's the best one I've had so far. Uh, I used to call myself the comedy tradesman. The comedy trade? Back in the day. The tradesman of comedy. Tra but, uh, yeah, I do a lot of other jobs now. So, what, what other jobs are you into? I'm a fitness instructor now. Fitness which is, instructor? Which is pretty fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, well, that was... Because you lost a shitload of weight. Because I was a big fatty boomer. A couple of years ago. Yeah. What, what sparked that change? Probably the fitness journey. And I thought, oh, I, might, I wouldn't mind doing a TAFE course. Just some upskill because I didn't want to go back to painting. Is that, that was your actual that trade? That was my trade, yeah. So I, ups, I would, you know, just did a Cert 3 in fitness, group fitness. I don't do – I'm not a PT. I'm not one of them psychopaths. <laughs> 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 They're a punchline of a lot of jokes. Yeah. Personal trainers. So, yeah, I just do groups. So group fitness, so what do you need? Basically a, a TAFE certificate, a hatchback, and a few uh, a few of those big balls. And you kettlebells. Just, uh, kettlebells. kettlebells. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm quite, uh, quite good at the kettlebell swing. <laughs> <laughs> and a section of a park. <laughs> yes, that the council doesn't know about. Yeah. Because <laughs> sometimes they go, hey, have you got your certification there, mate? Fucking hell. Oh, man. We were, um, I, the other day I was, um, hence why I've got a moustache at the moment, I was... Um, Shooting a thing for uh, with um, Eric Hutton's. Oh yeah, journal. I've heard this is going around. It's amazing. I, I've, I haven't been asked to do it. I think uh, oh, really the, the forgotten comic, I mate. Know. He's he's finished now. Uh, but I, I played a uh, I played a cop, hence the mustache. And but we were uh, shooting in Marrickville, just on this little quiet street near the Camelot Lounge there, and there were some witches hats that had been put out by. They're obviously going to do some roadworks or whatever. And th there was one just near where we were shooting, and all of a sudden, council ranger turns up. It's like, uh, I've had some complaints. You're putting witches' hats out. Well, really? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like bullshit to me. Who who calls up over witches' hats? And then he's like, "You got a permit to shoot?" I was like, uh, "Nah." What would you need a permit to shoot? I tell you, wouldn't. I yeah, I don't think so. I because we were talking about. It. I my theory is because we had a. Like there's a proper camo with a decent camera and stuff. It looked like, and a sound person. It looks like, oh, there's some money gone into this. So the council want to try and get some money back. Yeah. Want some money, but um, like because I said, like, how different is it to you just walking along filming something on your phone? I know. Yeah, TikTokers would be arrested all the time. Yeah, you're in public place. It's fine. I go running in near my house at Rhodes, and, and on dusk, you get a lot of um. TikTok, TikTokers. Oh, really? Just, just like a line of TikTokers uh, <laughs> just near the Parramatta River there. It's funny. I'm like, fucking hell, what's happened to the world? It is weird, isn't it? Like that, 
the how much now that sort of stuff, like what entertains people has changed so much. Yeah. It's like, I mean, there's good ones, but the ones I seen the other day run, I'm like, nah. What nah. were they, like just dancing? Or? Yeah, they're just dancing and like in sync with their friends. Oh, God. Yeah. I don't know why they were shooting it there, but they just seemed to, maybe the lighting's good. Yeah, well, dusk, mate, magic yeah, hour. Magic hour, yeah. As the, as the photographers say. So how long, when did you start comedy? Oh, about 97, I think. 97. So a bit's changed in that time in terms of like... Go, I'm, <laughs> the, I'm the oldest. oldest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 97. I actually use you, you're, um, I've used you as an example to, um, to some younger comics about guys of your generation about how... Because they're like, oh, you know, see some of these blokes that get older. I said, yeah, but you look at guys like Mick Merritt. Like, what you got to do is keep writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you yeah. keep writing and keep engaged, then it's still you can still have a bit of fun with it. Yeah, they'll re- remain nameless, but there are blokes my age and older that are still doing a lot of... Yeah, I don't know how you would describe the material. <laughs> <laughs> it is the material from the 80s, basically. Oh. <laughs> uh, a little bit of uh, refugee material and stuff oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> wow, refugee yeah. material. Because that was hilarious back then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, immigration was, uh, it was oh, a hot button issue. Immigration and, and same-sex lovers. Oh, <laughs> oh it's huge. It's a, oh, yeah, I actually saw, um, saw a, a median of that vintage I worked with a while ago and uh, walked on stage first thing and said, Something about, um, like, did a little dance, oh, a bit gay, and then was like, oh, yeah, and then realised, oh, Jesus, it's 2023, and went, oh, no, there's anything Mate, wrong with that. That oh. was one, one, not, not one of my best gigs, that one. <laughs> <laughs> it was in Newtown, too. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's the disapproval. Yes. Oh, man. So, um, so you were a painter. What got you into comedy? Uh, I was a musician for a long time, playing in bands, and I was... I always liked comedy. I was always like the funny bass player. You're the bass player? I was a bass player and uh, I was always cracking jokes and, yeah, a few lead singers went, mate, why don't you just do comedy, dickhead, piss off. <laughs> yeah, stop taking our attention. Um, yeah, I had a plan for a long time. I probably should have done a lot earlier. But, yeah, I probably piss farted around for it. I had a lot of stuff written down but I never got up. Yeah. And uh, mate's uh, wife, who's no longer with us anymore, she used to turn up every now and again and go, there's an open mic night on, let's go. Let's let's get this thing done. And I'd go, nah, fuck that. <laughs> and then I just did a comedy course. Comedy course? Yeah, I did a course with uh, Lynn Pierce. Lynn Pierce. She was like an improviser. That. And her she had a character oh, yeah? uh, dressed as a nun. I can't remember what her name was. And she would host it. it uh, your graduation would be at the legendary Harold Park Hotel. Oh, wow. Yeah, in front, of, in front of a full crowd, big crowd. Yeah, and I did that course and killed it first night and then sucked for the next two years. <laughs> <laughs> so was that, because you obviously, you, you do stand up, you play guitar, musical. Was that musical comedy then? Or no, no, that came just, a long time later. So were you reluctant? Because I know you're, um, I, I've, I remember you and I did a ship together. Uh, a few years ago now we were on a carnival ship and you said to me do you mind if I put my guitar I was going first when we would do you know you do the back to back half hours and I was on first this night and I you'd put your you said do you mind if I put my guitar on stage on the th-? I was like yeah no no but I kept walking over as though I was going to pick it up <laughs> and play it <laughs> and then I remember you saying to me you never touch my fucking guitar did I say that <laughs> I, did. Did. I didn't mean it and then sure. the next night you closed because you because you flip around on those ones and you, um, so you went first and you closed with all the Ranger ladies, oh, right. which is one of my absolute favourite songs you do. But you had the, this whole drunken ship just swaying, singing along like it was crazy. And then you brought me on and uh, you said, follow that cunt. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was someone else. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, but oh man, that was a, uh, I, I think I, you, you might have got three. How good was Mick? Let's you have another got, You would have gone all right. Uh, eventually, but yeah, yeah. it took a while to shake yeah, their they memory. Were, they were always up for comedy on me. Yeah, yeah, that and that was a fun. That was that. That was um, a good trip. Yeah, that was a good trip. That was that one where the last night I had to do a show and you didn't, and we were in Bay of Islands and you got pissed. Yeah, you sat. <laughs> and, 
Well, I, I had one beer with our uh, <laughs> with our lunch, and you went, "Oh, let's stay for another few." Yeah, I was a bit. Uh, I'm a bit dusty now, actually. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> what were you up to last night? Uh, our um, me and the wives um, we train these retirees called the Legends. Oh, nice! And they took us out to celebrate our uh, recent wedding. Yes. Yes, and they shouted us drinks and uh, fucking had a few. <laughs> what nice! Yeah. The retiree. So you and the you and the missus. You are you a duo training duo? Originally for, with them, yes. Yeah. They asked the gym if we should start a legends, and we want them two to train us. Oh, nice! But now it's just me, basically. She just PT. She's a PT. She's a psychopath. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> she trains ladies on their own. Usually, just listens to all their problems. <laughs> <laughs> Are you you wouldn't be allowed to train ladies on your own, would you? Oh no, not with this physique and this head. <laughs> so it's a it's an adult film waiting to happen. Like yeah, chicka wow wow. <laughs> so you um, so you you, tr- you train classes. What are you mainly train like? Like, is it mainly the retire? Like, what sort of demographics? Are you oh, in? I do less now. I do less now. I just I train them. Uh, I do two classes on a Friday with them, and then I do like a mum's group. Nice. Straight after that. They're pretty funny. Um, and uh, every second Wednesday, I fill in for the uh, aerobics instructor, and I teach aerobics to the pensioners too. Aerobics? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're up the front and you're yeah, yeah, aerobics yeah, yeah. all stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Got all the moves, mate. That's the Grapevine mu- around the world. <laughs> <laughs> Step touch. Oh, man, that's the music uh coming into its own there as well because yeah. I, I could tell you I'm not I've done a few aerobics classes over the years and I'm always the guy facing the wrong way when it's turn oh. you know they okay turn now we turn and, cla- we do, and then uh, I'm facing we, everyone we do 70s sudden. music too 70s disco so oh, that, no. that's so what they, they like it what's the what's the playlist like there what, what are we talking oh a bit of um, a lot of ABBA 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 so what's your warm up what it taught me through because obviously up, you got to I warm up with a bit of uh, um Bee Gees. Oh, yeah. Slower Bee Gees. <laughs> <laughs> Just to get the ladies uh, a little bit uh, warm. Yeah. There's a, there's a couple of blokes. Yeah, nice. And then go into a bit of um, Disco Inferno. Oh, yeah. Don't know who sings that. Uh, a bit of ABBA. Yep. Um, does your mother know? <laughs> uh, Nine to Five's a big hit, too. Oh, yes. I invented a, a move called The Cowgirl. Really? The cowgirl. They love the cowgirl because as soon as 9 to 5 comes on, they know the cowgirl's coming. <laughs> what does the cowgirl involve? The cowgirl is just basically uh, four steps to the left and right, swinging a lasso, a pretend <laughs> lasso. <laughs> so you can just change arms every... Mate, you're, you are, you're basically a 12 hours off running a line dancing class. No, no I've never point. done line dancing. I've never done it. Never done Don't it? Don't tempt at me. At all. I might have to try it now. Mate, I was in... Um, I was on the doing a thing for the variety bash and we must have been in we're in Narandra and I went into the ex services or something to grab some dinner and uh in the yeah there was a line dance class going on in there. They have to do that by law though. Don't I, th- they? I think so. <laughs> and it well, it looked exactly what you would think. Like there was there was some people talk about seventies, there was some people still live in the seventies, but you know, just Big col- look, guys, in nice tucked in shirts. All oh, right, big buck- belt buckle and big collar on oh, the right. old, uh, old shirt. Well dressed. We finished off with the nut bush yesterday. Oh, the nu- see the nut bush. I've never been able to do. Yeah, I mean, well, either could they. <laughs> <laughs> the two blokes in the class, no, nah, they tapped out early. One yeah. one fella has has Parkinson's, so I do understand. <laughs> he got to the front of the line. And he just kept he just kept walking away into the wall. <laughs> He was there last night having a drink. And he went, "Why did you fucking put the nut bush on for?" <laughs> oh. So could you could you always like were you a dancer at school? Like were you like could you cut those moves at the school disco? Oh, no, yeah, I, I could dance a bit. Done a few dance classes. I wouldn't say I'm a dancer, but uh, dance class. What style of dance classes? Well, I mean, the miso. We did a bit of rock and roll dancing and jive dancing. Really, like yeah. rock, like sock pop type. Like you go into a uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then COVID hit and we stopped doing it and we haven't been back, so oh. we've gotten okay at it, but it weren't great. It's a, it's a difficult, uh, a lot of technique to it, a lot yeah. of moves. Um, 
Great place to meet women, though. Unfortunately, I had my wife there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's a, it's not probably a lot of blokes just going along, going oh, like my, not a lot of competition. One of the gym instructors from the gym, he he goes there now, and I know exactly why he goes. He does salsa dancing. I'm like, yeah, I know why. You oh, salsa why you dancing. Doing that, mate? That's mostly. He's grinding, a handsome, isn't handsome it? lad too. Yeah. Yes, he did quite well. Oh, bloody hell, salsa dancing. I, yeah, I've never. My my grandfather, my mum's father, was a uh, was a ballroom dancer. His career cut short by World War Two. Oh right. But uh, but yeah, he was he was apparently quite a talented like you know dancing a lot of competitions all around Sydney and was a champion ballroom dancer. Yeah, well, uh, my wife's father, Dancing Paddy, that was his nickname. Really, he was a ballroom dancer, Irish bloke. Yeah. Yeah, she's got Irish parents. Dancing Paddy. Dancing Paddy. And, uh, was he traditional or did he use his arms? <laughs> used his arms. <laughs> used his arms, yeah. Never met the black. Uh, apparently a legend, bit of a legend. Uh, yeah, so the ladies used, all the old ladies used to line up to have a dance with Paddy. Really? At the dance, because there's a big dancing in Ireland. Yeah, dancing, dance that, halls. That was the the culture back then. Like that was part of the courting process. Is the yeah, old, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, you fill that that or oh, his dance cards full was actually you'd you know yeah. you'd have a card and write write the ladies and oh yeah I'll, I'll spare you a dance. Yeah, so he was the king of the dance floor apparently. So how good. So you uh, and you got married recently. Were you in Ireland where you got married, or where did you get? We got married in the castle we eloped in Ireland. Wow, in Tipperary. Tipper, it's a long way to Tipperary. Oh, fuck, I've heard that joke a few times <laughs> now. And yeah. It's getting, it's getting a bit, you know. <laughs> it's just, right, well, you know. <laughs> the great Bev Killick kept telling me uh, on a ship once, kept saying it over and over, but I was just ignoring it. And she goes, do you get it? And I'm like, yeah, but I'm not going to acknowledge the stupid joke. <laughs> but it's a long way there, Mick. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, I travelled there. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. that far, actually, from Nina where we stayed the night. Is that uh, is that where the missus is from? Is that her family from Tipperary or that yeah. area? Dancing Paddy was from Tip, maybe, and I think her mum was from Ross Common. Okay, which is in the both in the middle, right? Yeah. And so, was did how like how did this work? Proposal? Like what what happened? Uh, we go to Ireland quite a bit. All the families in Ireland. Okay. So we were, we were driving back from somewhere with the, her cousins, and Catherine pointed to this castle. She says, "You can get married in that. See that castle? You can get married in it." And we just went, "No, oh, yeah, right." And then, like two years later, we thought we got married in that one. We got married in the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> so she gave us the idea, and then we got home, and she said, you want to get married? I went, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it, there was no proposing, really. Oh, we nice. just decided that both our uh, previous marriages were shit, so let's do something right. Do it properly. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's um, that's that's very modern, no proposal, just a deal yeah. on it. Yeah, mutual, mutual in agreement. Our, in our 50s. Uh, oh. We were going to have a wedding, but nah. The, kid, the kids were fine. We told them like an hour, a couple of hours after we did it. Yeah. Daughter cried. Son went, yeah, good on you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good on you, mate. That's a, uh, that's a very proper uh, Australian father-son yeah. sort of relationship. Yeah, yeah. It's funny. I um, my, my kids, I had this weird realisation recently. Do you, so do you hug your son still? Yeah, you've got yeah, your yeah, yeah. I don't see him that much because he's in Melbourne. So, mm. yeah, I do. I don't. What's I, he? How old is he now? Twenty four. Twenty four. He's a big um, gamer, YouTuber, Frogger, Frogger O W. Look him up. What's his? What's he play online? Overwatch. Overwatch. He's represented. Uh, represented Australia. Bloody. He's hell. got an Australian jersey, mate. <laughs> but he's that's got a amazing. fucking jersey before the old man ever got close. Now your old man, how did, was he? Like, did you have to explain that to him? Uh, I don't think I told him. Don't think I told him. Because you know that when you were growing up, representing Australia was in yeah, yeah. that would the green and gold, mate. He's he's donned the green and gold <laughs> in something that didn't exist when no, you were born. No, no, that's and insane. He's, and he's I think he's representing again this year. He's really? going, he's going to America twice this year. How good to play in a tournament. And he so he streams that, and that's what he does full time now. Yeah, it's just his YouTube page is just the game. And he's playing with him talking over the top. He's got he's got a good gift of the gab. 
Yeah. He's got a good... Like, he looks 14, but he sounds like me. He's got oh, a deep, nice. got a deep voice. Dead voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'd never pick him. Does he... Is it, like, is it a bit of humour in there? Yeah, he's pretty funny. He's pretty funny. He probably... Yeah. He, he was... He dabbled in... He was thinking about doing comedy. But, yeah, it's very funny. Didn't want to... <laughs> didn't want to stand in the, the shadow that you... He nearly got up once on a ship in the gong show. Oh, really? Yeah. I nearly talked him into it. I said, just do my jokes. You, so you encouraged that? No, it would have been, it would have been funny. Yeah. I would have given him naught. I would have gonged him. <laughs> <laughs> would you, would you, if, if he said, if either of your kids come to you and said, oh, I want to do comedy, would you, what, well, would you say, Go for it, or like obviously you're gonna, not going to stand in their way. But would you secretly be like, "Oh God, don't be funny"? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah I don't think it ever happened. Yeah, there was just that little thought he had, but uh, he's obviously fair. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be fine. I'd be fine with it. Yeah. Um, don't know what style. The daughter would be just bitchy. I think she'd be like a Becky Lucas. Really? <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> that's her biggest fa- her. Her, her hero, Becky Lucas. Really? Loves Becky Lucas, yeah. Ah, nice. Yeah. So I took her to see her once. Nice. Yeah. So Eats a lot of McCain's chips now, does she? Or Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's doing all right, Becky, isn't she? She is, <laughs> man. It's so fun. It's so funny seeing her in those ads too because they've obviously, you know, the hair, makeup and that, and it's just like just remembering when she first showed up in the Sydney scene. Just She's on the balloon show now or something, isn't she? Isn't she like a host on that? Yes, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I accidentally seen that one. <laughs> it's we. It's so funny where people turn up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. yeah. You would have seen a bit of that, like because you did a lot of footy show and yeah, yeah. Uh, those did you now? Did you have for a while the most appearances on the NRL footy show in Sydney? Yeah, I think so. I think I was more than Carl. I think Tahir overtook me. The Umbies were on a bit too. I think maybe. Yeah, the Umbies. You know, I realised they did. Someone was, like someone pointed out, and I'd completely forgotten. They played Woodstock '99. Did they? Yeah. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> apparently, so they'd they, have the real story. Yeah, and apparently they're in that. Like, there's a they they're in that documentary that they made about it. Woodstock '99. Oh, right. It's um, which is insane. You don't really realise how sort of successful they were and are oh, still. Man, they'd be making some money. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Well, they're not doing podcasts, so... No, he's acting now. He's acting a lot now, though. Yeah? Dave, yeah. Dave's yeah. in the new Mad Max. Is he? Yeah, yeah. He's got a, I think it's a decent role, and you can't tell anyone what it's about. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Good fella. Yeah, lovely blokes, both of them. But, uh, so, you obviously... Oh, back to what I was saying about uh, hugging your son. The reason I asked is I, I realised, like, most of the time now with my old man, we for years, we'd just... He'd say goodbye when we leave and just shake his hand and that sort of stuff. And then my youngest son says to me one day, he goes, Dad, I don't want to ever have to stop hugging you. Oh, that's good. And I went, oh, yeah, you don't. He goes, well, why don't you hug Papa then? And I was like, oh, Jesus. So now it's the oh, it's caught my old man off guard the I first time I did it. I don't think my old man would would like that. <laughs> yeah. He's he's dead, but... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I keep him alive in my, my jokes, but... Yeah, uh, yeah. He, uh, he lived to quite a good age, though. Uh, Ninety-one. 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 No, nah, no, nah, there was never any. Uh, no, I love you. None of that. Yeah, different generation. Different generation altogether. Yeah. Buffhead, that was my name. Buffhead. Buffhead. Look at this dickhead. Goat. I was the goat. Not greatest of all time. Actually, a goat. <laughs> back, b- back before it was a good thing. Yeah, my mum was very affectionate. So she, uh, she hugged. But yeah. no hugs off dad. No. I do like a hug off me son. I can't can't help myself when I, when I see him. Yeah. I gave his girlfriend a hug when I met her and she was very uncomfortable. <laughs> 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 Hello, Jasmine. <laughs> Give her a hug. She's the, like, Jesus Christ, what's going it's, on here? It's, it's, the, it's the length of the hug, Nick. You've got to let go. Oh, after yeah, a while, yeah, mate. yeah, yeah. You can't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Keep them under a minute, mate. Hug the daughter. Yeah. I'm seeing her uh, tomorrow. What's, what's she do with herself now? She is in Brisbane. Uh, she does a lot of bar work. Well, I think she works at Suncorp quite a bit. Oh, nice. Yeah. She's just jumped ship from the Panthers to the Dolphins. Really? Yeah, but last weekend she came back. 
<laughs> so, so she's gone full fins up, got caught up in the... Yeah, she rang me up and told me. Because she moved up there. She lives up Brisbane. And she said, Dad, I'm going to support the Dolphins. And I went, okay. No worries. Mate, you're a modern father. Once, you, Very once you're in there, you can't come back. She said, oh, no, I'm still going to go for <laughs> Penrith. I said, you can't have two teams. No. You can't have a second team. You can't have like the old old days of Ford versus Holden. You couldn't have a second team if you're supporting Holden. Yeah, but Ford's my second yeah. team. <laughs> yeah, Ford's my second team. You know, so, well, fucking that's lose. convenient, mate, yeah. isn't it? Do you um do, do like I've got teams I've got a soft spot for when mm. my because I'm, I'm a Knights fan, so they obviously it's been a it's been a lean sort of ten fifteen years, but um we. It's it's that thing where like okay once you realise your your season's done there are teams any given season you go oh like this year I, I kind of like seeing the Warriors do well mm, same I'd like to see the Warriors win it win a call. really yeah I think it'd be good for the game yeah I, I think it would be yeah. too because they when, when was the last time they were in finals like grand did, final did they play a grand final they played one in oh, early mid two thousands I think early aughts maybe. Did they, so with Stacey did they, Jones. Did they compete? The, yeah, I, do, I don't think they got close to winning the grand final. No, I'd have to never look looked up. like winning it. No. No, I quite like the Warriors. That'd be good. Yeah. What's the question? Do you like, have a soft do you have uh, a soft spot for any of the other teams? Soft spot. Ooh. Or do you, are you like Because mine moves around year on year. Yeah. Maybe mine does as well. Well, I've got a lot of mates that go for South, so I've been, I go to lots of South games. Really? I don't mind. You know what they say, if, when Souths are winning, the NRL's going well. You know? <laughs> South <laughs> fans say that. <laughs> Wait, when Souths were not in the comp, the NRL was going well too. So. But, then, but then I used to work with a bloke called Jason Emery who played for uh, Parramatta and Penrith. Oh, yeah. And he used to tell me, when you ran out of the tunnels at Redfern Oval, they'd spit on you. Oh, really? So I never forgot that. So I can be grubby. Oh yeah, and just just hack, hock, hock. mate. The ones you run I've, through with it. <laughs> the one most of the players I've talked to that I've actually asked them the question, or will to a man, nearly every one of them said St George fans are the worst. Is that right? They said Dan at Cogra, you skull the, the start. Yeah, well, <laughs> I think he's just the start of it. The stuff that you'll get that will get is yelled right? at you is is horrendous. Yeah. Oh, well, they won all them grand finals on a row and they're still cranky. Yeah, and and they apparently turn on their own players too pretty hard, right. which I'd imagine they're doing right now. Is it the Dragons fans or the Steelers fans? I think it's the Dragons fans <laughs> right. more, more than the, the Steelers because the Steelers, I think the Wollongong's a different... Uh, it's an uneven merge, isn't it? Yeah, it's an odd one, that one. <laughs> I don't know why they don't play all their games down at Wollongong. That's yeah. a great ground. You know, I, was, I always had a love for the Magpies. Oh, I used yeah. to go to a lot of Magpies games at uh, Lincoln Oval. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That would have been too far because you grew up Yaguna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All my mates from school were Maggie's fans. Oh, yeah. And we'd sit on the hill and drink port, <laughs> smoke joints. <laughs> mate. It was good, people, good times. People say the 80s weren't great. Oh, they? mate, that, that, was, that would have been the 70s. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, I had you younger than that, mate. It's yeah. this fitness. It's no, got you no. looking youthful. No, they were, yeah, they were good times, Lincoln Oval. The biggest goalposts. Really? Had the highest goalposts. <laughs> <laughs> That'd have to be... Uh, well, who is it? All the, for some reason, the rugby union goalposts seem to be way yeah, higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't guess. know what... I did a gig last week that you did the year before. Linfield Rugby. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How'd it go? The, uh... Yeah, good. It was good. I, I didn't think it was going to go well. Oh, really? It was one of them Norse leagues. Yes. Yeah, yeah I, any... I know the one. <laughs> did you go well? Yeah. Yeah, the bloke raved about you. Did he? He was trying to work out who it was. And I'm like... Did he go well? He goes, yeah, yeah, he was good. Yeah, he was good. I said, he wouldn't be any of my mates then. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how um they uh that's what they go, oh, mate, it was great. And then do not remember your name. Yeah, no, no. Like, he had to look you up. Oh, did he? He Googled you. <laughs> oh, he went, must have gone through his phone, the last year's poster. Oh, bloody Who hell. Who did you do it with? Uh, I had, must have been Sterling Mortlock. Uh, Matt Dunning. You couldn't have a more rugby union name, could you? Oh, Sterling, Sterling Mortlock. Unbelievable. Cro- he's cross between a rugby union player and, and a Bond, James Bond. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like if James Bond wasn't James Bond, it'd be Sterling Mortlock. Sterling. <laughs> Mortlock. Sterling Mortlock. Who else do you have? Uh, it must have been, I think it's Matt Dunning, him and I. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they talked about Dunning. 
he funny? Is he any good? Yeah, he's all right. He's mm. all right. He's he's a different bloke now. He's he's living clean and sober. Is he uh, yeah, trimmed down? Yeah. Oh, right. He's reasonably fit. So, but um, it was funny because I did. I went on before they went up to get their panel interview. Yeah, so did I. And my plan was just to sort of, you know, do do the bit and then sneak out just because I, I had to. I think we were going away or something. And um, so I was uh, I was like, you, you you beauty, grab the. And I went back to where my where the table they put me on right at the front. And the first thing when um. Must be Crispy Gilbert was MC, and he goes, he says to Sterling, he Sterling goes, oh, just before we start, Andrew, right, and just started talking to oh, me right. about one of my bits, and <laughs> and then told every story. And so I was like, oh, okay. So I said, and then he told every story. He'd be looking at me, tell, like as oh, though right. he was telling me. It was, it was bizarre. I was like, oh, I've got a former Wallabies captain just uh, right. regaling me with stories while a bunch of uh, subbies. I had. Uh Owen Finnegan. Owen Finnegan. That's the name I haven't heard in a while. And uh, big MG. MG oh, really? It's funny. And the bloke next to MG, he was proper rugby union fan. He started talking to him. Yeah, I loved you in um, Gladiators. <laughs> he thought he was Mark McGaw. Oh. And I was like, fucking crying. <laughs> that's and, so good. And like, MG started like, no, that's Sparkles McGaw, mate. <laughs> and the guy's like, oh, who's that? He's <laughs> The guy you're talking about, <laughs> the guy in Gladiators, Hammer. Hammer. Oh wow, that's um, yeah, that MG. Oh, he's, he's an interesting booking for them because they were proper. That mm. was the one where I realised because I'd done it. You do a bunch of league lunches, a bunch of union lunches. And I realised it's the same yeah. blokes, yeah. but it's just the job they take off the day off from that's different. It was weird because they're all old in the front tables and they're all young in the back table. Yeah. And the, the, they weren't watching at all, the young ones. Oh, really? I ripped into them. <laughs> I think they were watching something on TikTok. I said, get off fucking TikTok now, you little dickheads. <laughs> and they're like, ooh, Jesus. I think I ripped into them a bit last year too. And yeah. they were, but they, 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 that was when I was like, there's, you know, the well to do looking dude just stands up and then they all sing and he sculled the beer before mm -hmm. it started. And I'm like, this is just on midday. These, these. Oh, they were getting on it, they were telling me. Yeah. The bloke next to me, he says, you're, you're sticking around. I said, well, I'm driving. He goes, yeah, we're getting on it. Just leave your car here. And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave your car here. <laughs> Had some nice bottles of red sitting on the table. Yeah. it was. A, that, was a, that was a decent gig. Do you, you do many union ones as opposed to league ones? Or what? It, what's your – because you do a lot of sportsman's lunches. It'd be probably more league. I do a few union ones, a few soccer ones. Uh... I've done a netball one once. Really? Yeah. How'd that go? It was um, I was a good gig. I don't know what it was for, but it was definitely a netball. And uh, the that woman that ended up the Bulldogs chief, oh, she was um, the netball boss then. Uh, yeah. Uh, what was her name? Renee, is it? No. Um, oh, man, because we used to make... That was when Des was there. Des was at the Dogs coaching. Oh, okay. What's yeah, her yeah. name? Kiwi. Just yeah. a Kiwi chick. And she, I walked on stage and she got up and walked straight out. Oh, really? Straight out. I was like, a bit <laughs> seething. I thought, yeah. Maybe she just got the job with the Bulldogs or maybe she was mm. the boss of net. Was she the boss of netball before? I think she might have. Yeah, she might have been. I know she'd done a bunch of sports. She stared, she went stared to right at me and got up and just walked out. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's always been on my list. <laughs> <laughs> that's um, it, that's always interesting. That's I did a did one for Singleton Rugby Club recently, and they, they had the local member and the former local member both there. And that was the thing I said at the start. I said usually the politicians have the good sense to leave before the union yeah, yeah. starts. Chris Minns left at a gig once straight away. Did he? Now premier. They don't, they, they're scared. The politicians yeah, yeah, yeah. do not want to be yeah, there yeah, yeah. in case you say yeah, something yeah, yeah, off yeah. colour and they're seen laughing. Uh, who else is... Oh, Gladys. Gladys talked through a gig. What? She talked. Pissed. On the red wines. Oh. You couldn't <laughs> even get a yes daddy out of her? No, nah, it was a while ago. She wasn't the premier then. Or maybe she'd just become premier. And uh, Luke Foley, the former... Uh, Boss of the Labor Party. They were all. They both on the. It was St Patrick's Day. It was a horrible gig. It was probably one of its top ten worst gigs of all time. Top ten. What is what's 
what what are some of the other contenders oh, that you would have done that so. one that one's up there that was uh uh what was that gig on St Patrick's Day where you it got was to in the in the city uh in the big big room ICC or something what's it called the oh the convention center. convention center yeah. like yeah. the big room like huge room huge ceiling oh, big really. stage <laughs> big stage <laughs> Uh, ABC presenter uh, lady, nice, really nice. She goes, what, what do you want me to do? I said, just got to shut them up, just calm them down. And, and they weren't listening to her at all. Everyone was blind. Oh, God. So she, she did that turn to look at me and I went, oh, you're bringing me on while they're talking. <laughs> yeah. And they're walking around and she goes, anyway, I see it. like I must have got that. Oh, And a, a long room. walk to the, to the mic because yeah. it was a big stage and... Uh, just uh, I was told to do twenty minutes, and I did twenty minutes. It was one of the I just did, did just plowed, stick stick plowed. your feet, go dead behind yeah. the eyes. Yeah, yeah, really get no, get nothing, getting nothing, <laughs> getting a few giggles. First two tables, kind of laughing, and I said anyway, I'm going to wrap things up. And then this table to here, full of you know twenty year old blokes, just went good and round of applause. Get <laughs> off! And I said no, nah, I'm going to do another ten. And then I'm like, ah, oh, shit. And they liked me in the end because I, I stuck with it. Yeah, but yeah, it was. Uh, I did another one in Jeff Shed down at Victoria, the one they call Jeff Shed, the oh. big big convention center. Uh, that was a St Paddy's Day too. Maybe it's a St Paddy's thing, <laughs> but I thought I was going to kill because they, they had like the U two cover band out first, and then uh, Dermot Brereton was the the host. Oh, big Dermy. Dermy knew my name, and he we were chatting away, and he. Could have heard a pin drop, mate. <laughs> I actually heard a few knives drop. <laughs> it was just, I was, I, I was dumbfounded why it wasn't going well. Like, because you don't have to think hard for my act. No, like, well, you've got some, like, but yours is accessible. Like, even if mm. you are, like, and you've got, you, I remember years ago, you said something to me about, you, we bumped, I bumped into you at the factory. We were going to see something, some mutual friend of ours was doing a, festival show and we were doing the obligatory yeah we'll go along to see that yeah. and um i was chatting and you just got off a ship and you said they were old and i yeah. said how'd you go and you went oh i've got gears mate yeah i had no gear that day with the <laughs> I, I don't think i'll ever take on a st Paddy, paddy's day gig again i think I, I feel quite part of i'm pretty irish but yeah man, like me fucking humor holy so those those two i, I remember just on the you know when the mc's not getting listened to i did a gig a golf day with um the mc was greg page the original yellow wigger oh okay yeah man and so killing these, oh these guys had been on the squirt since i, I went on about 8 30 at night and they'd started at like 10 yeah. in the morning so they it's rabble but what he'd do is when he's getting there trying to get their attention he just starts singing a wiggle song Oh, right. And everyone just automatically would start singing yeah, right. along, and then he'd have their. He was the Pied Piper of drunks. It was yeah, the most right. amazing thing I've ever seen. He's like, he's like hot potato, hot potato, and everyone's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they wiggle went zombies. A, yeah, went into a trance. It was amazing. But yeah, I've always had a, a, a underlying hatred for Gladys from that gig. I no. yelled at her. I went, Berejiklian, pay attention. <laughs> But she just didn't even like I wasn't even there. She was just had a glass of red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and pay attention. So yeah. She, yeah, she's probably premier by that stage. If you I think knew her she name, was. maybe just just became premier. Maybe I don't know if you study the uh, do you st or like study the parliamentary members or something. The fact uh, that you I've, knew her I've name. sat next to a lot of them yeah. at gigs. Yeah. <laughs> do you now? That's another one because I had one. I've got one coming up where they they did the thing where do you want to come for the whole lunch and yeah. see it. And I, I, this one I can't. I would have liked to because it's, it's a good, like, they got um, a few really good uh, speakers on there. John Eels is going to be speaking and stuff. I'd love to hear what he's got to say. But um, I'm gonna, unfortunately, I've got to be, I'm going to be in Newcastle the night before and then that night as well. So I'm like, you know, I'm just driving down the back and going. But um, do you, are you the stay? guy or if they if they do want to have lunch with you hey mick we've got you a chair are you that very guy? rarely gary eck loves that does he yeah gary eck loves that he's yeah. a social guy yeah yeah, yeah. Gary. i've just thought of a worse one actually uh wayne with wayne bennett oh here we go yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. i was it was uh what was that fella that ended up in the wheelchair newcastle player oh um 
Oh, you're testing me now. Uh, yeah, Alex McKinnon. McKinnon, yeah. Yes. So when, nice when, when that all happened, I felt, you know, as a footy fan, I'm like, oh, if anything comes up, I'm going to do a gig for nothing. For yeah. nothing. So they do the right thing. You know, month later, get a phone call. Oh, yeah, here you go, bloody. want to do this fundraiser for Alex. And I said, mate, I'm in. Yep, I'm in. He said, you, you'd be on with Wayne Bennett. Mate, definitely in. He said, you'd, you'd be sitting with him. I said, will I? <laughs> <laughs> so I get there and uh, the gig looks fine. It's just in a in a pub in on the water there at Newcastle. Oh, nice. One of them ones. Yep. Um, I sit and he goes, you're next to Bennett. And I'm like, really? So I sit down there and he looks at me and he goes, <laughs> you supposed to be you, mate? <laughs> <laughs> so I liked him straight away and I went, yeah. And he goes, are you sure? <laughs> I said, yeah, I'm pretty sure. He said, what are you doing? I said, comedy. Oh, I love comedy. I went, do you? He said, yeah. Seriously? I went, yeah. And he started rattling off. He goes to Vegas and goes and watch, watches comedy. Really? He was telling me these stories. He goes to Vegas, loves, loves Vegas, and goes to see, like, old school comedy stuff. Yeah. How good. And he got up and uh, killed. Killed. And he did, did that thing. We, have you seen him? Light. No. He pours pours water out on the stage. He goes, see that? That's history. Don't worry about that. That's all over. It's, it's, it's to that. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Just move on, basically. And I got up. As soon as I got up, everyone just went. It was just a wall, a sea of people just went like this on their phones. And I went, oh, I'm gone here. <laughs> you, know, you know when you're gone. Yeah. I'm gone. Just no, like, don't you, know what it was. You need, because you need very few things for comedy, but you need their attention, yeah. especially at the start, because you don't want to... I don't know what it was. Not wow. Did not get a laugh. And I did 10 minutes. And I thought, yeah. I'm not getting paid. I'm pulling the pin early. I was going that bad. Wow. <laughs> ben, and Bennett's just there. <laughs> just looking going, oh, well, you wouldn't get a gig in Vegas, would you, mate? Do? <laughs> and then the week later, he did a gig with Woody, uh, Sean Woodland, and he went, I hope you're better than the bloke that was on last week. <laughs> Oh. And then, I, and Woody told me, he goes, "Yeah, he's on with some bloke. Like, he didn't know his name." And I went, "It was me." And he goes, "Nah, you never die." And I went, "Mate, I fucking..." Died. He goes, "Was it you?" And I went, "Yeah." He said, "He didn't say anything about the guitar." And I went, "I didn't get to the guitar." <laughs> Far out. And I and I, I just felt like going, "Well, fucking, he should have forgotten about it by now because he put, did that thing with the water. Should have been history. Should have just forgotten about." <laughs> yeah. All right, that's over. So right. he's on the list too, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell! I d- wouldn't have picked him for a Vegas comedy fan. He That's talked to me for through lunch, 30 minutes, rattling off names I'd never heard of, just American comics. Wow. Yeah. I know um, Chris Franklin's mates with um, Bellam, Craig Bellamy. Uh, yeah, I've, I was, I've got a good Bellamy story. you got a good Bellamy story? Because <laughs> yeah. he is mates with Bellamy. Yeah, go on, tell your story. No, no, I was just going to say, because he, I know he, he, he tries, he always, line, they, the story. Bellamy goes to Franklin's show every year in Melbourne. Oh, right. And then he lines him up with a few of the guys. He always says, you've got to point us in the direction of, to go see someone. Okay. And he, he tried to get him to go um, see my my show a couple of years ago, but he wanted to go see Lano and Woodley instead. So. Oh, right. He's a good bloke, Bellamy. Yeah? Yeah, we, uh, in the early, when uh, the Storm were in all them grand finals, because uh, Franklin knows them all. Mm. And I did a few gigs down Melbourne when they first started out, the storm. It was me and Franklin and Kinney all the time. We used to do gigs for them. Really? And got to know them. And uh, one, they they lost a grand final. And we ended up back at the after party. We went to two after parties. I remember going to two after parties with with the storm. Not the one at Molly's? No, it was in in the Olympic Park. Oh, nice. And the one before was at uh, the old Roxy at Parramatta. And um, Greg Inglis did the worm on the stage. It's great. Blind. It's great. <laughs> Greg it's Inglis did the worm. Yeah, yeah. And he was a kid then. Thought all he had was the Goanna. Yeah, no, he had the worm. How good. So, yeah, and, and me and Franklin were blind. And we get into this art. Chris like, Franklin? Yeah. Bl- I was probably drunker than Chris Franklin. Jeez. Is that a saying? <laughs> That's a drunker than Chris Franklin. I could it not even be. talk. Oh, Couldn't even hell. talk. And uh, I'm there, I'm like, yeah, yeah. And Bellamy comes up to me and he goes, oh, you win some, you lose some, don't you? And, go. and he put his arm around me and I'm like, fuck, fuck, really? <laughs> and I went, I, in my head, I, I had had a question. And it just, I just went, how did you put the bad out of his hand? 
uh, just basically could not talk. And he went, oh, for fuck's sake, and just walked <laughs> off. <laughs> I love that. Just the, uh, He was so, and I, I've regretted it ever since. I've never seen him since. I'm but sure he doesn't remember there's it. There's <laughs> nothing like that disappointment from someone. Because he, he, you know, I was a big fan, like him and Bennett. Yeah. Well, they're, they're both those guys that, uh, like, Bennett is, is another one. Every player I've ever talked to that's played for him just loves him. Yeah. The, the great man manager. And then the the Storm, every guy that's played at the Storm that I've talked to, it's like, it's yeah. just simple. You know your job. They keep it real simple for the guys and they all love them. That's um, that that disappointment <laughs> that you see. I it's, brought up, it's brought up a lot of pain talking about that story. Mate. Put his arm around me. <laughs> Years ago, I was in the States when I was much younger doing that. I was working in this summer camp and there was this... Um, there was this... Uh, Is this the, an American sitcom? No, no. <laughs> man, there was, there was this uh, guy. So all the... There was all us, like, you know, internationals that were like, oh, was, we're Australian, so we were lifeguarding and teaching swimming and stuff. And then, you know... But then they had... Um, a lot of college athletes had come and teach the, the other sports because it's a, nominally a sports camp. But um, there was this guy, Donnie, who was this um, big African American guy, who's cool as shit, and he he was um, he was there teaching, the, uh, coaching on the football thing, and he's this he's a college athlete, and he's a lovely bloke. And I bump into him at breakfast one morning. And I said, "Hey, Donnie, how you going?" He goes, "Hey, man." And he goes to do the whole handshake thing, and I go to shake, and he gets two moves in, <laughs> and, and I'm not following, and he just dropped his shoulders and went. Ugh. And just walk white off. people. <laughs> and I was like, I've never felt so white and lame oh, in all my life. I think I've, I think we've all experienced that with this this skin color. Oh. Just cool people, just hey man, what's going on? And <laughs> I remember that that same trip. I was in. Um, we were in New York afterwards, and I was with this English guy who was who I was mates with from the camp. We just wandered through wandered through Saks Fifth Avenue, just sort of having a look. And there's this African American guy who's a um, Who's, I think he was a sales assistant or something, but he was trying on this like like ankle length, um, like fur, faux <laughs> fur, purple coat, and he's just looking. He had a hat, and he's just looking at himself. And the guy, this little English guy I'm with, is from like the Midlands of England. Just goes, <laughs> they're just cooler than a sun. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, they are, Adam. They are, mate. <laughs> I do uh, CrossFit. Oh yeah, uh, me and the missus do. And we're the we're the oldest by, you know, fifteen years easy. There we have a crack. We, we're all right, but at the end of every session, you everyone walks around and fist pumps each other. Oh. <laughs> it's so awkward. Like you're like, and sometimes you we've been there for about a year now, and you you chase people for a fist pump game, and people just walk by, <laughs> and you're like, oh, I'm glad there's no fucking cameras here. And every now and again, they'll they'll shake your hand and shake your fist. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. And they just look at me, all these young Mate. kids with shoulders, big shoulders and six packs, and like an silly old dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> he has a go, I suppose. Do you, do you, is it, are you part of the, what are they called? Is it like a cell or a... The um, box. The box? The box. You have to write your, your times and all your... No, oh, I know, you up. go on your app, on the on, app. On, on the, the app? Su- on Sugarwad. Ooh. Sugarwad. The missus, the missus loves that. Really? She goes, if, if you put your times in, I went, no. Nah. She goes, you got to put your times in. you got to put your times in. <laughs> so you know, next time if you do that, that what again? What work out of the day, if you don't know. What? Uh, Jesus. Yeah. It all sounds a bit... Uh, it's very culty. A bit sexual too. Mm, yeah, yeah. Lots of cleaning jerks. <laughs> lots of blokes taking off their shirt for no reason. Yeah. Yeah. I, I went to... My brother's into it. He's up in Newcastle. And he took me along. I was up there over... must have been over Christmas or something. I went along and did a work. And it was fun, but it was that same thing. Everyone's like afterwards. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Like, it was a bit, it's a bit, he, he loves it too. But they, yeah. they they were all writing it on the board. I don't know if he's, I'll have to ask him about uh, the app, see if he's in the sugar, app. He'd be in sugar one. Because he's, he knows like, because he, 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 he runs pubs and so he's all over the place. And so he he's, can always, oh yeah, with this, this membership I can go, I oh, know there's a, there's a box there. Oh, I can right, go up a box. And do, do that. I'm a good I'm a good runner, so uh, you'll do th- today's uh, workout is paired or in threes. So you, they'll, they'll just put you with someone. Yeah. Once they put me with these two big, uh, one was a uh, uh, like a Maori guy, you know, big Asian dude, and like they were, and you have to lift dead deadlifts and then run. And I, I was halving their deadlifts, but 
I'd overtake him on the run. Come on, guys, let's that's, go. That's what I because I, I I run. That's all pretty much my the, the sum of my exercise. I try and run every day. But um, that was the same thing with the, all these guys lifting stuff and doing stuff. And then I we go for the, the yeah. Run they hate section. running. And I feel like, oh, yeah. overtaking people. They hate it. Yeah. I went in the because the, the, the garage door up and this woman filming and next to the garage door like the big garage door type thing in the gym and then next to that was the the actual door when the garage door was down ah yes and um i not paying attention just you know fuck you got my focus go out do the lap and you gotta run back through and i'd not realized i'd run out the garage door and i nearly cl- this woman's like the instructors there you know getting getting content for Get facebook of everyone a story or a nearly, reel yeah but i nearly took her out running back through because i thought i had to go through that door all oh, right so and she's standing she's like jumping out of the way like oh and my brother goes the other door to get yeah like, um Mate, sorry a lot of a lot of rules are crossfit mate. Yeah, it is. But the, yeah, the, a good cult needs rules, mate. That's what yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you, you unless you unless you know them. Unwritten rules, as well. Which is the so that was the thing. My brother was, oh mate, bad etiquette doing that. I forget what I was doing. Oh right, right. what are you doing? <laughs> Just having a piss in the corner. <laughs> I don't even know what it was. Drinking was... everyone's protein shakes. <laughs> <laughs> These are free, are they? <laughs> Fucking love a protein shake at a, at a CrossFit box, mate. Oh, mate, they do, and they're yeah, they're, they're, they're sh- all just walk sh- around sh- shaking. shaking the thing. <laughs> and I look at me, Miss, and goes, "Should we get a shaky thing?" <laughs> She's like, "No, we don't need that shit." And I'm like, "Okay." That's <laughs> it. So, are you? Is it a nutrition thing as well with you, or are you just like exercise and? Oh yeah, we eat pretty good. Eat pretty good. Yeah, take me vitamins. Still, still allowed to drink and have a good. Well, time. I'm dusty now. Yeah, I had a thousand wines last night. Jesus, is that your is that your uh, poison of choice now? The the wines, or are you? I like a schooner and a white wine. Yeah, not a schooner of white wine. <laughs> schooner of white wine. Schooner of white wine. Yeah, that's drinking, mate. Yeah, uh, yeah. I love beers and I love white wine. I don't mind a red. Yeah, well, I did a um, I did a corporate a little while ago for this um, this apprenticeship um, governing body like. Uh, for the electrical apprenticeships, and a good thing. But I had to MC and do the. I think I've done that one. Comedy spot, Nika. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and these apprentices come in, so it's all like second to fourth year apprentices, and then their, you know, bosses or whatever are scattered through. These young kids thought they had. To, I remember we we're in Dalton House in um, in at Darling Harbour there, and not Darling Harbour in at uh, the Jones Bay Wharf, uh, and they um, these kids. So how does the how does the the drinking thing work? Well, it's, oh, it's a package, you know. So so are they like charging by the drink, or are they? I said no, no, no. It's just like they work out a price per head. This kid goes, man. He turns his mate. Yeah. So if we drink enough, they could actually lose money on this. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, have a look where you are, mate. <laughs> These people aren't in the business of losing money. Were they in bad suits? <laughs> they were. Yeah. Like one of the kids comes in. And it's all tables everywhere, like big, you know, dinner type thing. And then, and he's just going around, like looking, scanning, like head on a swivel, going table to table. Look, I said, You're right, mate. He goes, oh, I'm just looking for my seat. So oh, there's a big board at the front that'll tell you what table number you're on. He goes, Oh, thanks, mate. <laughs> just goes, but I was like, oh, You've never been to a function. I hate it when you turn up and your name's not there. Oh, yeah, I've done a few like that. Oh, really? Yeah. You just, you just, um, the performing monkey, aren't you? Oh. Oh, yeah. Did you want a meal? Well, it is lunchtime. Would be nice, you know. <laughs> yeah. You have invited me. Yeah. To... Oh, yeah. Um, the how good's the one though where you rock up and they go, "Oh, we've got your green room. We'll bring it, send the meal in, and we'll just come get you when it's time for you to go on." It's like, yeah, this is this is how I liked it. Like, oh, I had one, I did one at Menai. Oh yeah. Uh, the club here is a football soccer team, and uh, they set me up a table in the kitchen. <laughs> In the kitchen, and just what they were. I said, oh, I said, fuck, like, I sat down, and then all, all the chefs were walking around me, and I said, oh, fuck, I picked it up and went and sat in the pokies. <laughs> <laughs> the Fucking kitchen, embarrassing. Feels like Goodfellas if you're in the kitchen. Oh, mate. <laughs> I don't know how that one went. Oh man, it, it's yeah. The, there's it's the range of gigs that you do. I don't think when I started, I realised <laughs> what that. Oh yeah, but it, I mean. It's still better than working for a living, isn't it? It is. A lot of uh, um, chicken or meat 
mate, which which dish would you like? I said, oh, yeah. mate, fine, mate. Whatever. <laughs> I think I've had more alternate drop menu meals than the most people would ever have in their lifetime. Yeah. That's the uh that's the 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 standard for most of these things. You just have me one standard drink, meal, gig, <laughs> leave crying or happy. Go on. <laughs> Some, yeah. Sometimes folded money in my pocket. Oh, I um I did one recently up at uh, Hunter Valley. Oh, how'd that go? Yeah, it went good. It went well. It was a le- Legends of League golf right. day. Legends, or, Origin Legends. Which, which oh, right. who was it? Uh, well, they had a few. They had, uh, I'm trying to think, they had... Michael Hagen, uh, Box Ed Walters. Um, Tim he likes Bra- comedy. Tim Brasher was there. He, he's not funny, is he? <laughs> Tim Brasher. No, well, so they'd all play during the day and then I did the comedy. And it was actually good because I'd, I'd done a gig for I don't know, Mining Union or something a bit before and Box Ed was there as well. And I'd had a chat to him and realised he's a good, good bloke and um, he had a good sense of humour. So I was like, there's Walt, like, there's Brasher and um, who else was there? Wish, Rod Wishart was there. Oh, he's, he's a lovely bloke. bloke. He's a good fella. I did that Footy Legends movie with him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was good. <laughs> he's, he's, he was a lovely bloke. He came over and had a big chat afterwards. Yeah. And it's just on for a, a bit. Um, and Sterlo, I was sitting with Sterlo, which is nice. He, um, But then, so I got up to, to, to start, like because that all been up. Because like, they, they, what they do is it's the golf day, they, they're all through, but then they add the scores up for the Queensland legends and the oh, New South right. Wales legends and they have the state of origin and the New South Wales blokes had won it but Box Ed was saying they cheated <laughs> so he's blowing up and so it was all good and they've won enough origins fuck Mate, them. Fuck well everyone was they're all blind so I, I'm, at the start I was like oh you know he just did that yeah well done for raising money and then I said oh how how good is it in this room I said so many names in this room like when I when I think of them I hear them in Ray Warren's voice <laughs> I'm like, yeah, Wishart, uh, Brasher, Walters, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> what about the forgotten Walters, Kerrod? <laughs> Kerrod, yeah. <laughs> Kevy and Kerrod, the twins. Is that a... Oh, they were twins, were they? Yeah. Like, that's that's close names for twins, like Kevin yeah. and Kerrod. You're not even... Give them Trying hard. Yeah, no. And Boxhead. Boxhead. <laughs> He's got the shit name. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Every time I go to um, Brisbane, the Paddington area, I see Kevy running. Oh really? Yeah, I think he's following me or something. <laughs> <laughs> Kevy, I used to see um, uh, Benny uh, Benny Iken. Benny Iken used to go for when I was working at Fox. He'd be, he'd go for a run every morning. So I'd, sometimes I'd be walking up through there, and he just man, talk about a guy who can just put head down and just strides and go and oh, go right. for a long run. He's a fit man. Oh right. He's uh, no sugar. He would a big no sugar guy. Is that right? Yeah. You have a big hat on because he's, he's he's very pale skinned, isn't he? Yeah, he's a bit, yeah. Fre- a bit freckly, mate. He's uh, he look looks after himself. Uh, yeah. So I, I dare say he'd, uh, sunscreen heavily. Did he retire young? I think he did. Yeah, yeah. he retired young. I think in his twenties, late twenties. Yeah. He's um, but yeah, apparently yeah, completely like one of those blokes who just like now he's just so like disciplined and apparently yeah. loved like you know loved the beer when he was playing and all that sort of stuff. He's one of those blokes. He's probably skinnier now than when he was and fitter now than when he was. Right, playing. some of them blow out. Oh yeah, <laughs> it goes one or two ways. <laughs> really blow out. I, saw, I used to hate when bloody Mark Gaznia when when I was working at Fox and you'd be, would often getting changed to go do the show, and you'd be in the wardrobe area and that it's all like just sort of semi-open, and bloody Mark Gaznia would be there getting changed to you know do uh, like the footy coverage or whatever. And he's my age, but still had a six pack at thirty eight, right. and just was Fair like fit as, and just be talking to you, and just like, like dude, can you put your shirt on, Gas? <laughs> You're making me feel inadequate, mate. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so now the other thing I want to talk to you about your podcast, Mad Dogs, yes, loose history of lunatics. So how did uh, you knew that was Woody, yeah. Sean Woodland, Sean Woodland, yeah. How did how did that come about, and what what talk me through what that's about for anyone that wants to have a listen. I don't know how it came about. I've got no idea. I've really? always been mates with him since he first started. I think he started a similar time to you, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, about the same time. Um, yeah, he he did one on his own. I think we were just talking at, at the pub one day. He said, we should do one together. I went, no, yeah. Because I was doing one with Julia. Mm-hmm. It kind of wasn't going anywhere. 
And uh, well, she lives too far away. Yeah, she wouldn't know how to do Zoom comedy. <laughs> um, talking to a microphone, be a big deal though or something. <laughs> 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 she won't mind me saying that. No, just quietly. not at all. Uh, yeah, so we, we were discussing what to do. Like, it, there was a few options we we're going to do because we're both married to Poms. We we're going to do um, Poms versus Aussies sort of podcast, yeah. and then we just come up with. Uh, just do lunatics, and his missus come up with the name Mad Dogs. Nice. Yeah. So we're I think we're about sixty eps in. Jeez. Been going. All right. We do one right. a week. One a week. So what what uh, what days that come out? That comes out usually on a Wednesday. Right. So Mad Dogs podcast. That's worth checking. It's very um, good. Who decides? Because you've had some. Like I was looking through the the episodes today a few of the episodes today who decides on the topic because sometimes it's like more like a person sometimes yeah. it's more Though a when theme. we started it was more, more people so we do we do one each every second week like it's mine then it's his then it's mine then it's his so we can do whatever we want we'll come up with a list of a few people but uh, we've just decided that uh, we're not telling each other who we're doing now so oh really so we have to Bit of a reveal. Go for a reveal, yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we did, um, who was yesterday? Oh, we did Mel Gibson. <laughs> Mel Gibson. Mad Mel Gibson. Mad Mel Gibson. Mad Mel Gibson. What? Now, what in any way would make you think he's mad? Mate, there's a list. <laughs> <laughs> so you just basically go with a list of stupid things that they've done. Mad doggery. Piss artistry, as, as Woody calls it. Piss artistry. And next week is Oliver Reed, actor from the 70s. Oh, it was a mad pisshead. Nice. I think I feel like that was almost a part of the course in the seventies. Yeah, yeah. The ladies' man, uh, a bit of a sexist. Yes. He was up for the role of uh, this is all adding up. James Bond. Oh, really? Uh, taking over from Connery, and um, they went, "No, nah, you're too much of a pisshead." <laughs> <laughs> wow. He was known for his yeah, piss, getting pissed on on set. On set. Bloody hell. Closing down sets because he was too pissed. Fuck. And when, when the acting roles dried up, uh, he used to do the uh, chat show circuit, pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I feel like there was way more tolerance for, for that sort of stuff then than there is now. There's some great footage of him just stumbling out yeah. on Parkinson. <laughs> 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 you're like, oh, it's going to be good. But when you watch it, it's not as, you know, as good as you thought it was going to be. It's old school, just pissed. Yeah, people could hold their piss back then. Yeah, I think he'd had about seventy two skins. Yeah, yeah. Bloody hell! We did we did the one on Georgie Best, the footballer. Yeah, he got a liver transplant and, and then kept drinking. That up, didn't and he? Kept drinking. Yeah, <laughs> fucking Fuck mad dog. That's uh, <laughs> yeah. that's you're keen at that point. <laughs> yeah, I think you're addicted you to do, <laughs> do your liver and someone else's. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been better off in the dead person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Why is the, the, it's already attached to a dead person. Why does it have to suffer How bad anymore? How do you have to be to get a new liver? Jeez. Oh, that is... Yeah, surely there's some stop or some stop signs or some caution signs on the uh, way to new liver. Uh, yellowness. <laughs> yeah, Jordan, that was in that Michael Michael Jordan documentary. You notice he's... he's did yeah, you watch that? His yeah. eyeballs are a bit yellow. It's like, is he a drunk? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what else he do. I think he drinks. He likes whiskey and cigars. Yeah. So and good whiskey golf. too. Not shit whiskey like I drink. Oh. What is your tipple and whiskey wise? I like the Japanese whiskeys. Yeah, yeah, not bad. Yeah, they're not. I remember um, Waka. You know, you know Waka. Uh, I never met Waka. I know who you mean though. Oh really? Yeah. You never met him? No, man. I don't know how you avoided Waka, but he when he racist. Used, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, when I white guy. Remember, we used to do the um, couple of times we were on the store together when he was still living in Japan, and he'd come to us. Fly out for it. Yeah, he'd fly out, but he because the time difference um, between Tokyo and here is it was the same time. Oh, right. So he'd just fly, sort of fly out on the Thursday, <laughs> <laughs> and then fly home Sunday night Jesus and then go to work. Christ. He's mad, but he used to. I remember one like a couple of times he would sent me a picture. Of five because he knew I like whiskeys, five different Japanese whiskeys, and he just with just with the caption "Let's comedy," and that was that uh, was our, our weekend. He'd have a different Japanese whiskey nice. for us to try after a gig. It was great. I don't mind a rum, I like a nice rum. Yeah, I, not not a big rum guy. 
I wasn't either. And then uh, me and the missus, we went to uh, Miami. Oh, yeah. And we did a rum tour. And the guy was a really good tour guide. And he, he said, you should never put anything in a rum, in your rum. Just drink rum. And we were drinking these blonde blonde rum shots. And they were fucking delicious. Nice. Yeah, so I've so always been a bit of a fan of a straight rum now. That's a um, good rum. That that I think that's the, the other key is if you drink good version of anything, it's probably all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not drinking just Bundy or something. Plus the merit of the first fleeters and uh, it was all about rum back in the day coming out on the... Get your rum rations. Get the rum rations, Are you yeah. first fleeters? yeah. So mm. criminals or both? <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Meredith. Bit of that one. Frederick eh? Meredith was a sailor. Yeah, he came out on the first fleet and uh, had a few wives, a few uh, convict wives. <laughs> I believe they're known as victims these days, mate. Are they? Yeah, is that right? <laughs> That's that power imbalance would be frowned upon. People don't like um, the first fleet now, do they? I was always quite proud of my heritage, but yeah, it's a bit. Yeah, bit. Uh, Colonisers, nah, mate. <laughs> oh, I didn't do anything. Yeah, and they look. They weren't. They weren't. Uh, especially the, the the wives weren't here by choice. No. So the um, one, the second wife, he um, so he went went back a few times. Oh yeah. And uh, um, he came back on the. I think it was the Bologna. One of the. Uh, it might have been the second fleet. And uh, yeah, he. Uh, must have chatted up his second wife <laughs> in chains just anyway. So uh, I guess you're not doing anything when you get there. Uh, what do you uh, What do you think we should get married? Or <laughs> Weirdest Tinder date ever. So. That is. Yeah, yeah. well, you got because it was it was a long trip too. So he had a bit of bit of time to lay the groundwork. And that was the love of his life. He had seven seven with her. Seven. Yeah. Bloody yeah. people did pop out kids back then though. That's yeah. There's nothing else to do. Yeah. No, nah. nothing else. Waiting, waiting a long time for the invention of television. Got a street named after him in Bankstown, Meredith really? Street. Is that what Meredith Street yeah, named yeah, after? Yeah. So Frederick, he... Frederick Meredith. He was the first policeman in Bankstown. Wow. He caught bush rangers in Bankstown. Bush rangers. <laughs> I think they're in Georgia's all though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is yeah. I mean, and look, the police still busy in Bankstown to well, this yeah, day. The, so. the cop shop's still there. Yeah, it's just behind the um, or oh, his house. Well, it's a house now. It was behind the Swallows. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Swallows Pub. Bloody hell. Yeah. Mate, you are a Sydney original. Bankstown boy. I was the first to leave. <laughs> <laughs> All the Meredith <laughs> men just stayed there. Really? Mm. Have you got brothers and sisters? or i got a sister, yeah. yeah. She there or she... She lives in Concord near me. Oh, moving up in the world. And her uh, her partner looks like Dawn Fraser. She gets free beers. Really? It's a lot like Dawn Fraser. She's got. I've been next to her. And she's ordered a beer, and she's gone to pay for it. And the and the barman's gone. No, Dawn Fraser drinks free here. <laughs> That's so good. I remember when um, when Dawn was lovable too. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? She's gone down a little bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> now she could just, just be careful where you travel, looking like Dawn Fraser. Do you remember when? Um, uh, do you remember Justin Norris? The I think he's a butterfly or a breaststroker. Oh, he got yeah, bronze yeah. at the Sydney Olympics. I had a mate from high school who looked exactly like him, and he used to get free beers. And he always used to say, oh, "I feel bad because I've done nothing." <laughs> like, well, bronze isn't that good either. No, don't worry about <laughs> it. Mate. I'm sure. I'm sure his uh, 15 minutes and your 15 minutes. I'd be fade. taking free beers. Yeah, Bloody hell. especially especially then we were you know young uni students. Why nice. not? Oh, mate, we're about at time. Good. Um, I've had enough. <laughs> I've had you. Before uh, before we go, um, where can people find you? Plug anything you want to plug. Um, other than, obviously, Mad Dog's podcast. Listen to that. Yeah, give that a crack. Um, yeah, all my uh, socials are Mikko Meredith. Mikko Meredith? And I, I always put my gigs up on my Instagram, Mikko Meredith. So if you want to... Come and see me. I've got a few gigs coming up. I've got a few corpies, but yeah, a few pub gigs coming up. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And uh, I can say we worked together just recently, Dan. Yeah, nice. I was terrible. You, I, I, <laughs> you were not. You I was a bit dementia-y. I, I don't know. I think you might be my nemesis. I don't think I do good gigs with you. It used to be um, Danny Badiris. 
Oh, really? Yeah. Bedsy. Bedsy. I used to always do a footy. I used to do a lot of Newcastle Knights footy functions. And he'd be in the audience like trying to laugh and I'd be bombing. <laughs> and then I did one and I killed. And he's like, mate. And he was like, top. You, you know him. Top yeah, bloke. Yeah. Top bloke. Loveliest man in the world. And he goes, mate, is that all new material? And I went, nah, just work today, mate. <laughs> 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 Something's different. Yeah, them laughing. And mate. I told him about that, and he was pissed. He was like, "Oh yeah, that's a good claim to fame." Like a <laughs> Meredith's fucking nemesis. <laughs> that's so good. Well, um, yeah, go see Mick wherever you can, and uh, mate, thanks very much for doing this. Thanks very much. Cheers. Look, Jeez. you just hit the mic. Very unprofessional. Very I'll edit around it. Surely you can't edit around that. <laughs>